Hi everyone, it is a 30 second episode of the Perfect Monday and we are going to do a very cozy design, so have a look exactly what it is. Yes, a jumper, uh, knitted looks uh, in different versions uh, and I will do all the descriptions of the products use it and uh, show you the uh, short and the quickest way of uh, doing those uh, wintery uh, designs which you could use later on for a Christmas uh, news which your clients will request, especially when you're really busy uh, you want to do something which doesn't take too much time but is also quite nice and effective and uh, if you're new to this channel consider to subscribe. My name is Dorota Palicka, international nail artist and educator and I produce uh, lots of different nail art tutorials tutorials every Monday plus uh, on Wednesdays usually I post up the, the videos of how to do the uh, shape structure and the designs on the life models so let's start I hope you have really enjoyed watching uh, those different ideas which you can create with the um, jumper effect and now I will show you how to uh, do this effect and you could use it for the same kind of ideas with the winter nail designs you have seen it um, so I have prepared the tips uh, two of them just above them and now I'm going to apply the color number 155 sweet side and I think it's awesome um, for a winter time because uh, it looks really nice with the sugar effect with the jumper look. I also quite like it as well because of the it's very highly pigmented as well so save you a lot of time especially for uh, uh, tips because you can just paint one layer and that's that should be enough so I'm going to pop it into the lamp and just do exactly the same on the other one. And this is how you would uh, do it on the client too you would just finish off the nails and then paint them uh, the color you want. And what I love about it, that we can do it with any kind of color and it's going to look awesome. So I'm just going to give it a cure and when my tips are curing, I can prepare my mixture. So for a jumper, I'm going to use the paint on French gel and a tiny bit of the color I have choose for the design. So I'm just putting on the side and then grab a tiny bit of the paint on French. The reason why I like the paint on French gel because it's so highly pigmented that uh, you can apply it a bit thicker and because it's a gel it's not going to wrinkle like the gel polish does and also like making the color one shade lighter make the design to stand out a little bit more as well so um, I find it this way it works best for me and then we will be also using the sugar like it's a fine glitter called White Snow Effect by the Indigo. I will give you the um, link in the description of this video where you can get it as well. So that's my tips cure. And I do really love this look in a matte finish. So I'm going to apply the Velour Top Coat. By the way, the Velour Top Coat is awesome as well. I can give you the link to that as well. So just on the first one and then into the second one. It has a really nice feel into it because it does feel a bit like a velour. So that's it nice and matte. And now into my um, painting fine liner brush to start uh, drawing the jumpers and as you can see they can go into different shapes and styles so whatever comes in your mind and I think the best way to do it is um, to search for a jumper and then just copy this design. You don't want to go too thin because uh, you want that to be visible as well. So nice and thick lines.
I think this one is my favorite one and that's the one I use the most in a salon. So we're just painting this shape and then once we've got this shape done, I'm doing a line on the side, the line on the other side. As you can see, this side is always the most difficult one for me. Because my hand kind of cover the view so I can't see it where I paint and then a couple dots on the side. So very quick. And then before we cure it, this is important, we are going to sprinkle it with the sugar. Just on the entire nail. And because we've got those uh, matte top coats, the glitter is not going to stick into the other place. So at the minute you cannot see what is going on, but we have to give it a proper cure. And normally give it almost a double cure. So if the gel polish is curing in about 30 seconds, I would give it 60 seconds cure just so everything is properly cured and stays on on the nails, even if the clients wash their hands um, or do different things. On this one, we can do maybe a love heart jumper. I think that looks pretty cool too. So when painting the love heart, like uh, think that inside is no matter the shape as much. Um, it's more that you want the nice shape outside because inside is going to be all colored in. So this way it's easier for me to paint like a good shape of the love heart. very popular designs in our salon like lots of clients ask about the jumper nails I think just because it's also not over the top and like even if you've got like kind of more elegant client which doesn't want the nails over the top uh, this is just a perfect idea so I got the love heart done And now I'm just going to give it lots of those kneaded look. Around it. We can do maybe a dots in here. Actually, dotting tool is better for this uh, kind of job because you are not damaging the brush. Like painting a dots with your fine liner brush is really a killer for the brush. And after we have created the rows of the dots, we can go and do another knitted look here. So really as many ideas as you've got, as many different looks you can achieve. And the same from the other side. Actually, I turned the tip so you can see it more, so I'm not going to hide it. Of course, you just need to take a bit of the time so you will leave enough product. I'm kind of doing it in a rush. Uh, so there is maybe not as much product left as I would want normally. But I think it will be something different as well. So once you have finished painting uh, all those designs, I can sprinkle it with the glitter again. 
And I also show you the different glitter. You could use it for it as well. And then again, I can give you the uh, link in the description. So I have to give it a cure, exactly a 60 seconds cure. And another glitter I like to use is a Mermite uh, powder. So it looks kind of similar, just has like a different color sparkle through it. The first tip is definitely cure. So I'm going to show you uh, how it is looking once it's finished. So we've got the glitter, which is not going to stick in into the top coat, but only into the uh, gel design we have created. And then when we give it a solid brush, I can actually give you a link to the brushes too, because uh, they are just perfect. So you can see there is a tiny bit of those glitter left. Actually, I have put those orange sparkle into it as well. And I really love this look. The brush is nice and soft. It's like a facial brushes. And I like for uh, cleaning off uh, any mirror powders, or actually this one doesn't go now, any mirror powders or other the, uh, other pigments uh, from the Neo. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. And I've got another couple seconds of the other one and it's going to be finished as well and I'm sure you have liked this uh, video because it's something uh, nice and uh, different so you can hit the share button so the other new technicians can see it as well and now have a we look at the full collection of those winter jumpers you can leave me in a comment uh, also the link of your work as well or hashtag Dorota Paiska because I will be happy to see it what kind of jumpers and the knitted looks you have created as well so thanks for watching now bye